With everything we have configured and done so far, it is now time for us to test things out and confirm that traffic is being optimized over our WAN. So let's bring up our remote site client computer. Great. Right now, our user has a mapped network drive to a server that is located over the WAN at headquarters. Let's open up that shared folder right here. And this will show several files that already exist. Now, let's copy a new file to that shared folder. Let's go to a local folder on this computer. We'll go to the downloads folder. And there we see a very small application file right here that is four megabytes in size. So what we would do is we're gonna upload this file to the server over the WAN. Now, since this file has never been uploaded before, the Stillhead Appliances doesn't know about this type of traffic. As a result, the upload speed will be longer as if there is no WAN optimization. Plus, our WAN between our sites is a 768 kilobit per second connection, which is pretty slow. So let's go ahead and copy this file to our server. To do a drag and drop. Okay, and we'll look at the details once the copy um, begins. Let's see the details here. And this will take about 30 seconds. Okay, and that has completed. So that took about 30 seconds or so. And furthermore, the transfer rate was around 85 kilobytes per second. So let's copy that same file over again to our server. So let's go ahead and select that file on our drive and do a copy and replace. And wow, that finished under five seconds, which means the transfer rate was very, very high. So all of this is possible because of the Riverbed WAN optimization mechanisms for the type of data it is, including caching parts of the data on the appliances itself and using data references.